Okay, so hi everybody, it's Jonathan. I wanted to make a pretty quick video, uh, just a couple features that I kind of threw in really quick. Um, but first I wanted to run this um, color test here. Actually, I don't think I've ever run this before. It's not perfect, like that screen is not supposed to be red. I have no idea why it's red like that. Uh, <laughs> um, but I think the thing's supposed to have a black background. These seem to work fine. Color bar seems to work fine. But yeah, I don't know. I have no idea why that's red like that. It's really bizarre. Um, I don't know, it might be a bugger. Might be some feature I haven't implemented yet. But so that's not really any feature I added. I just wanted to to run that because I had never actually run it in a previous video. So in this uh, version, I added subscreen support at least preliminary support. I don't know if I have it exactly right, um, and I'll show you why. It seems pretty straightforward, but um, I don't have any color addition or subtraction or anything like that. Um, but I th I think I have some kind of bug. Uh, maybe you guys can help me out. But first, I'll show you the ones that don't seem to be bugged in any way. Uh, so first, we'll run... Super Mario World. And I'm recording this at five frames per second just to keep the file size small so it's gonna be a little bit of a slideshow. I apologize, but I don't I don't want a bunch of enormous files that I have to upload to YouTube, so uh, so this seems to be fine. The clouds and the the uh, whatever those are in the background, mountains or something. I don't know. Uh, sky is not right. Not sure why that is. Um, should be blue or something, I guess. Not not too worried about it at this point. Additionally, um, the. Uh, yeah, so now we got those that background there that didn't used to be there. So that's cool. But the cooler thing is that the world map actually <laughs> looks like something now um, instead of a mess like it did in the previous videos. So that looks good. And uh, yeah, so pretty excited about that. This is uh, this is where uh, Big Mario Sprite would be. Um, also, the other thing I added besides the subscreen layers, I don't know if you noticed, but I added uh, fading uh, and F blank support, so the brightness register 2100 um, and the and the F blank, so it'll actually blank the screen. If F blank uh, is set, and it will actually do the fading, which uh, I'll show you in another version that's um, or another game that actually. But see, it faded there, and it faded out and faded in, so that's pretty cool. I can jump around. That There's some blinking there. I don't know why that's happening. That is something I just discovered a short time ago. I, I don't know if you can see it with the... It's, it's blinking on and off really fast. I'm not sure what in the heck is going on there. That could be a major bug, I'm not sure, but... Um, but... And let's see here. So, one game that is actually really good at demonstrating the fading, uh, the brightness adjust, I uh, rather ironically, is Frogger. <laughs> um, it it just loops through these intro logo screens over and over and over, and it fades them in and out. Uh, just repeatedly until you press start so um, before it would just flip and you'd see the color palettes change because it it changes them after it's been faded out completely so so now you don't see that anymore <clears throat> and then we will do Legend of Zelda and this is the one uh, this is an example of, I'll show you in a minute, so 
upload it here. Um, there's something. So when I added the subscreens, I get this really weird bug happening on the world map, which I'm willing to say is maybe a result of not having uh, s uh, color addition of subtraction. Another thing is you have the castle and water and tree background now, so it looks a lot nicer. So I'm going to skip this. And how are you going to listen to this lady talk again? It gets really tiring having to <laughs> skip through this every single time. Because I use this as one of my main test games. I need a cheat code to skip this. <laughs> Come on. Okay. All right, so um, here is the problem. I don't know if you notice right here, but I'm actually going to go to a spot on the map where, um, uh, let me come down here. I'm getting pretty good at moving this around without even having a sprite. But look at this. This is, I don't know what in the heck is going on here. So weird. Um, basically what you're seeing is the the raindrop uh, background tile which is on background one subscreen so there's a background one subscreen which is the rain and there's a the rest of the subscreens are off and then there's a background two and background three main screen so the background uh, two main screen is the trees and uh, hills and whatever and the background three screen is which has the background three priority bit set in uh, 2105 uh, that's the that's actually this text and the status bar now I can actually I have some dip switches on the board that um, I can use to turn off the backgrounds both the main screens and the subscreens individually so I'm going to do that really quick so this is going to be background two main screen off so you still have background three main which is the status and text and the raindrops and then this is background three main and then background four does nothing. And then here's background one uh, subscreen. Um, and that's right. Uh, that is the that is the backdrop color. Um, and I know that because if I run it in like uh, SNES 9x or whatever, and I turn the backgrounds off, that is the that is the backdrop color. But I guess what bothers me is so that's background one subscreen on again let me keep background three off um it uh it's weird because i mean i don't have sprites implemented but certainly this is not anything to do with sprites um this is uh back background two main and obviously my code is saying that these pixels of these tiles are transparent and it's allowing the subscreen the background one subscreen to come through which is so weird because you'd think like I mean if it was if it was doing that why isn't it doing it for all of the pixels that are the transparency color which is this green color here unless this color is just really close to the to the transparency color and it's actually like maybe maybe not maybe it's like one index off or something and it's and it just appears to be the same color or something but I don't think that's true um, 
because like if we load this up in SNES 9X oh actually I already have it loaded <laughs> um, so this is what it's supposed to look like um, and I mean if I didn't like if I would think that because I don't have uh, color addition or subtraction which is enabled um, on this in this uh, in the game right now um, I would think that since I don't have it it would simply the background uh, the background one subscreen would just be behind the background two main screen which is the trees and you just wouldn't see anything at all I wouldn't expect that I would see it on on some pixels. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I, I think it has to be a bug, but I mean, I, I don't know that for certain. It's just so weird that it's on these pixels, but you can tell, you know, like if I turn off, now SNES 9X doesn't have the ability to turn off just sub screens or main screens. It's just you turn off background one and it turns off both the main screen and sub screen. But, so if I turn off one, that gets rid of the rain. And I mean, these pixels are the exact same color, like right here, uh, as these main like pixels. So like just the grass, like the pixels that aren't near the trees are the same exact color as these pixels that are really close to the trees. So that doesn't seem right. There's gotta be something wrong anyways. I digress. If somebody has any idea why that would be, if, if it is something to do with color addition and subtraction, then, you know, whatever. I'll, you know, it'll be fixed once I actually add that feature. But um, I don't that I don't think that's what it is. I think I, I think it's got to be something else going on there. So. All right. So that's it for that. Uh, and then also wanted to show. Uh, turtles again so let me go ahead and get rid of this okay <clears throat> So one thing that the sub screens have added is the screen will now flash pink. Um, oh, whoops! I forgot to turn the uh, <laughs> I forgot to turn the backgrounds back on. <laughs> well, anyways, you still saw the pink flashing. Also, so it added that pink, and then also in the. This background is here now, which was not here before. It was all black. Still things missing, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing that's been added, or that now shows up, is the cityscape in the background. This all used to be black back here, so that's working now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's pretty cool. Um, and also wanted to show Earthworm Jim really quick because, I mean, there's, there's lots of things that have changed now that I've added the subscreens, but I wanted to show, let's see, where is it? So this is a good example of um, <laughs> how, uh, well, so is Legend of Zelda, but if you don't have color addition subtraction, um, <laughs> it looks like total garbage, but it's interesting to see because uh, the subscreen is there now, but it's not being kind of dissolved into the other main layer. So, 
you can see this background now. You can you can run it in an emulator to see what it's really supposed to look like. Um, but this this scrolling background here didn't used to uh, exist. Didn't used to be there. So all right, and then I thought let's see was that the last one that I wanted to show. Oh, I guess there was, um, let's see if I can find it. Wanted to show Arkanoid for some reason. I had a note about that. I think it probably didn't show anything at all before. Um, let's see. I think that was a mode 7 yeah I don't think this actually I don't think any of this showed at all before I don't think I've demoed this um, on any of my progress update videos but I think that this uh, didn't actually I think this was a totally black screen or something like that oh I also figured out why <laughs> In none of the uh, Nintendo official Nintendo games, um, that I don't see the Nintendo logo, you know, like with a little coin sound that pops up for whatever, like Super Mario, Legend of Zelda. It's actually really interesting. So for whatever reason, those Nintendo logos that pop up for just a second, it's actually made up of sprites, which is so weird. Um, and I figured that out just because I, I mean, it's weird to me, but. Um, I figured that out because it was really bugging me. Like, why in the heck can I not even display a simple screen with one word on it? <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't seem right. And I saw so I threw it in uh, the BSNES debugger, and it's it's sprites. It's so weird. I don't know why they did that. Um, so, okay. Um this is this is not right this shouldn't be all stripes like this don't know why don't care but um it's cool i, I don't think i think that's why i wanted to show this because i don't think anything at all actually showed before on this so that's neat to see and then i thought just for fun um i wanted to show a game just for fun i've never i've never shown this before and I actually just ran it for the first time um, myself, uh, I think, yesterday. And thought it was pretty cool, so I wanted to show you. Let's see if I can grab it. Final Fantasy III. It's not perfect, but, I mean, it's pretty, pretty cool. Can fire it up in uh, ZSNES or SNES 9X. So you're missing uh, the uh, lightning bolts. I would guess those are sprites. This is, I'm guessing, um, well, I guess I don't know what that is, what mode that is, or what. But it's cool. Fortunately, mine doesn't work. All I have is two dots. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, yeah, that's really all there is. I think the rest of the intro is messed up. Um, I think it's like mode five or something, which I figured out was not working because mode five is like always 16 bit wide tiles. Um, so, or 16 pixel wide tiles, which is why mine looks messed up. Um, <sighs> okay, so, anyway, I think that's all I wanted. So yeah, 20 minutes is plenty enough for, for this. So, oh, another thing, I also fixed a major, uh, really weird bug 
um, related to um, how I'm driving out the actual final frame data to the to my video controller and I wanted to show you really quick this is Equinox hurry up yeah this this whole sequence right here is all mode 7 so it doesn't that's why the screen's black but if it hurries up come on come on come on come on so this background right here, the water and the sky, in my previous videos, if you look at them, this used to be like scrolling up like constantly. And I was, I was wondering why that is, so I looked into it, and it's actually a super, super huge major bug in how I was driving out the data. I'm not going not gonna to bother going into details on it, but it's fixed now, so that's really nice. Uh, same thing happened on Battletoads. Uh, Double Dragon, the the background on the title screen has this kind of, it's actually something kind of similar to this where it's like black and then fades into blue and then goes to black again. Um, and uh, I'll show you really quick. So this right here. So not sure why that's shaking like that but it used to just be constantly scrolling so that's at least fixed now but uh, yeah all right so yeah if anybody has any ideas what in the heck that uh, that uh, weird Legend of Zelda bug is I would sure love to know um, all right well that's it talk to you later bye